Hi, Lexi. This is Ria. I'm your gifted online teacher for Story Makers. So I'm making this video uh, because you uh, couldn't log on to the class today to help you out and understand how um, gifted online runs. Okay. What you can see in front of you is the lesson for uh, readers and story makers. So what happens is this lesson is for both the groups, readers and story makers, but there are some activities that are meant for both of you to do. And there are some activities that are only for story makers to do, which will be your ones. So I'm going to take you through the lesson and show you which ones they are, okay? Now to begin with, um, I hope you know how to get there. So it's like 2019 lessons, uh, you go there, then you sort of come down to readers and story makers. Then you take the cursor around, come straight down to term three, and then go sideways and it says sessions one and two. And that's where we are at the moment. Okay, that's how you find your lesson. Okay, there is a video introduction about me, about who I am, etc. That is from a couple of terms ago when I first started, but it'll still give you an idea about who I am. And then this is your Zoom uh, room number, which you must have found because you did log in. Okay, then if you see a green tick, that means there is a new activity, okay? Uh, every time there is a new activity for you to do, there is a green tick. And there are some other symbols which I'll explain as well. Now, this is a symbol for reader activities. This is a symbol for story maker activities, but don't worry. The activities are not jumbled up. They do come one after the other. Okay. You space blog. This is your blog. Now I'll just show you very quickly. So when you log into Ultranet, you have got your name up there. This is my name. So you'll have your name. You click on that blue arrow and you see you space. And that's where you go. You click on that. And that brings you to your you space, which is your everything gifted online. And on there, you'll see there is a blog, okay? Now, as you can see, I have got a little message from one of my students probably, which I'm gonna check later. All of these things that you see here, you also do have. So you'll be setting up a blog because that is where you're going to post all your activities, your homework that you get for Gifted Online, okay? Now, if you are thinking, how do I set my blog up? I am going to show you. Let's get back to the lesson. Okay. Now, to find your Uspace blog, first go to Uspace, find the U button, and da, 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 and that's just what I showed you. Now it says here is a video to teach you how to make a blog entry. See when I'm hovering over that, how it's sort of turning into a hand. So if I click on that, I can open that link and that's a video that teaches you how to make a blog, how to make a blog entry on um, Alternate, on Uspace, okay? All right, this is a reminder about your goal lesson, when it is, et cetera, et cetera. You can set up a little timetable for yourself. You don't have to do this, but this is actually helpful to do. So have a look at that. Then, because you started in term three, so every term we sort of look at a different aspect of reading and writing, we are looking at literary genres. So here is some explanation of a literary genre. Anything that is in blue is usually a link to click on. If you click on this link, it's gonna take you to a website where there is lots and lots of information for literary genres. You don't have to go there and read up everything. That's not the purpose. This is, you can think of this as a dictionary. You are a reference or like a glossary. You go there when you need to. Okay, but I've linked it here because it has lots of information. All right. Green tick, new activity. Don't worry about these signs at the moment, okay? You don't have to do anything about them. I will explain them later. Everyone's activity, which means both readers and story makers, which is you, has to do this activity. When I give you a listen, watch, and think activity, I say no blog post is needed. So this is a link to a video that talks to you about literary genres. All I want you to do is listen to this and think about it and try to understand it. You can listen to it as many times as you want. If you click on this, this will play. It is a YouTube video. So if you want to play it on YouTube, you can click on the YouTube icon on the right side when it comes up. It'll take you to YouTube where you can make it bigger. Basically, okay? So that's one activity. Green tick, another activity. 
this is everyone's activity too. So you're going to find in each lesson, there are two everyone activities. Okay. This one, you have to create a blog post and there are three different activities to do in that one blog post. So it's very important that you number up your blog post. So for example, you go to your blog post and you write everyone's activity two. Number one, write the answer to number one. Number two, write the answer to number two. Number three, write the answer to number three. Then I know which activity you responded to and I know which question you have responded to. I'm not going to go into each one of these activities at the moment. Take your time. You have got two weeks to do this. I'm going to see you in class next Monday. Use this week to go through everything. And if, then if you have questions, you can email me and you message me. So what do you do? You go to space. And then you go to message and then you do compose message and you write a message to me and you can choose when you do that, you can choose my name up here and you can write to me and I'll get it. Okay. Or mom can email me because mom has got my email address. So, and I will answer whatever problem you have. If I don't answer immediately, don't panic because I do um, teach every day. Um, so, and I go to, so this Monday is when I teach from home, but I do go to schools to work on other days. So usually it's in the evening that I check my mails. Okay. Then it is reader activity. So you don't need to worry about this. You can look at it if you want to, but you don't have to do any of these. Scroll down until you come to, this is your symbol, story makers or story maker activities. Now story makers, we are looking at poetry. We started in term two and we are, we looked at funny poems. Now we're looking at some classics. Now this one, this is create a blog post. So for this, you have to do some writing and post on your blog. This um, video is a very interesting one. It actually holds your hand and takes you step by step by step writing a poem. So you follow the prompt and you try to write a poem following the instructions of this person. That's your activity. Activity two. Um, oh, it also says go and give feedback to your buddies, which you won't be able to do at this point because I mean, you haven't been set up with any buddies yet. I can do that on Monday for you. Activity two, read the poem below and then see if you can find ways of making it better. Now, I have given some names here, similes, metaphors, onomatopoeia, personification. What I might do is link these. I might link one of these to a place somewhere online where you can find definitions of these. The reason I gave these because I thought that majority of you know what these are. If you don't, I don't want you to worry too much about what these words mean. You can just rewrite the poem or change some words around or even just take the theme of um, a snowball and write a poem of your own. It's just flexing your writing muscles is what you're doing. Okay. Tick means new activity, activity three. Create a blog post and write down a poem created by you. You've got two themes, either the best ice cream you've ever eaten or the worst ever storm you have seen. The length of the poem, at least six lines. How big? Well, don't make it too big. Um, doesn't matter, don't really have a maximum number of lines, but rhyming, not rhyming, your choice. You want to write it in an established poem, for example, you want to write it as a um, sanguine poem or write it like, um, um, what are those called? Um, acrostic poem, it's your choice, but you can just do a free form poetry as well. Okay, so this is just for me to get an idea of your writing skills. This is a link to a an, an website that gives you free images if you wanted to use some imagery or pictures in your poem. And as you can see, that's all the activities. So there are two everyone activities for you to do and then three writer activities for you to do. Now, I hope this makes sense. I know it is a lot of information to take on, but go back to this video as many times as you want to. Um, I will also show you that on the side here, go scroll right back on the side here is a summary of all the things you need to do just as a reminder. That you, for quick reference as well. Okay, so um, yeah, so that is it. I will um, <coughs> I will stop the video now. Look at it, get in touch, and we will take it from there. Okay, all right. Stop share and end meeting.